In today's video, I'll be showing us how you can build yourself this super simple and working XP farm for the latest edition of Minecraft Bedrock being 1.20.40. And of course, this farm works on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms, including MCP, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 edition. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. And to build this farm, all you need is one stack of solid blocks, four redstone torches, four pieces of redstone dust, two levers, one redstone repeater, a slab, a trap door, piston and a sticky piston, a furnace, two sand blocks, a water bucket, two hoppers, two glass panes, a chest, and finally at least one piece of kelp. And then to start up the farm, you'll need a little bit of coal. Yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. And guys, when you're building this farm, just make sure that you build it all inside a chunk to avoid any issues. So as you guys can see on the bottom right corner of my screen, there is a little chunk locator map. So just make sure that you're all inside one chunk, then grab your solid blocks and then place them like this in a T-shape and knock off the center. In the center, place a redstone repeater facing this block and underneath that block, place a piece of redstone dust and on the other side, a redstone torch. If you guys did everything correctly, everything should flash on and off like this. Now to stop it for now, place down the lever right here and click it on. Then place a solid block right next to our redstone dust and then on top of that, place your sticky piston. And if you guys did it correctly, it should automatically be extended. Now down here, place a solid block and then three more along the side like so. You can go ahead and build this up by doing one more block, but on the front face of the piston, place your sand block. Then place one more on the extended hand like so. Now go ahead and place eight solid blocks all the way around just like this. And once you're done with that, place a solid block right here and then a normal piston on top. Then you can actually go ahead and build up the walls by two blocks on either side and then place it one block higher and build a roof all the way around like this. But in the center, leave an empty block and on the block directly above our sand, place a slab like so. Now place a trapdoor right here and then extend out all these blocks by one more just like this all the way around. Then for now, place down your two glass panes right in front and then you can make your way up here and waterlog the slab. Once you've done that, open up the trapdoor and then place your kelp right here. Now you can close up the trapdoor for now. And now for the next step, grab your furnace and then place it directly in front of the sand block like this. Then go ahead and place down a hopper on top like so. So basically, once the kelp gets your ticked and grows instantly, they'll get broken by the piston and then the water will push it down. And since we have glass beams here, the hopper will pick up the items and then funnel it directly into our furnace. Now all you have to do is place down your chest right here. And then with your second hopper, place it going into the back of our chest. And now grab your lever and then place it on top of our furnace like this. And then you can open up your furnace and place in your coal. And now for the final bit of redstone before we can use the farm, all you have to do is place down a solid block right here. And then skip a block and one more and skip one more block and place it right here. On top of each one of these blocks, you're going to want to place down a redstone torch. And the last one should be off just like this. So place one more block right here and then grab the rest of your redstone dust and then place them in a line like this. And guys, it's super important that you actually place redstone dust all the way up here. And once you're done with that, the farm is actually complete. Now to make sure it works, all you have to do is flip this lever right here. And if you did everything correctly, as you guys can see, the kelp should grow and automatically be harvested and funneled into our furnace. Now I'll show you how you can use this farm. So all you have to do to use this farm is turn it on and then to harvest the XP, just wait for a bit of kelp to smelt. The more kelp you smelt, the more XP you get. But I just waited about five minutes for one stack and then to harvest it, all you have to do is flick this lever and wait for one piece of kelp to smelt. And just like that, once it's done, go ahead and pick it up. And as soon as you do that, you should get a whole bunch of levels. And guys, since I only waited for a couple minutes, I only got one level, but if you leave it for a couple hours or overnight you should get a whole bunch of levels super easily and guys you actually don't have to worry about fuel as now you can actually use these dried kelp and turn it into dried kelp blocks and use that as your next fuel source so you guys that's it that's how you guys can build yourself a super simple xp farm for the latest edition of my bedrock